This morning, the fourth Kuwaiti humanitarian airlift mission to Sudan took off in continuous implementation of the directives of His Highness the Emir, Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. May Allah protect and bless him to transport aid following the catastrophic weather conditions and ongoing brutal conflict. Yes, the northern regions of uh, Sudan hit by heavy rains uh, that left thousands of Sudanese without shelter nor medical supplies as uh, the country's civil war consumed the majority of national resources. Amid international efforts to reach an agreement to end uh, the conflict between the warring parties. Mariam Rabouahi reports. The fourth airlift heading to Sudan loaded with humanitarian aid supplies to land in Port Sudan took off this morning and expected to land this afternoon with Kuwait Air Force, executing His Highness the Emir, Sheikh Mish'al Ahmed al Jabr al Sabah, may Allah protect and bless him orders. Uh, this uh, aircraft uh, contains 10 tons of uh, uh, food and uh, shelter su supplies to uh, relieve the, the brothers in Sudan and this is our duty from the Kuwait Red Crescent to be side by side to the Sudani Red Crescent. Kuwait Red Crescent Society mobilizing all its efforts to accelerate the delivery of aid despite the rapid spread of MPOX in the region alongside with other diseases such as malaria and cholera. Heavy rains and flooding from Sudan's rainy season, which began in June, have resulted in more than 114 fatalities, according to the Sudanese Health Ministry, adding that 10 states have been affected, impacting 27,278 families and 110,278 individuals. This year's rainy season has exacerbated the humanitarian crisis in Sudan, which is already grappling with deadly conflict between the Sudanese armed forces and the paramilitary rapid support forces. Since April 15, 2023, the conflict has displaced millions of peoples within Sudan and forced hundreds of thousands to flee to neighboring countries. According to the latest UN data, about 10.7 million people are internally displaced within Sudan with approximately 2.2 million seeking refugee abroad. International partners in the Geneva talks called on the two warring parties in Sudan last Tuesday to implement the commitments made in the Jeddah Declaration more than three months ago. This came in a joint statement issued by the United States of America, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Switzerland, the United Arab Emirates, the African Union and the United Nations during the Geneva talks, which began last Wednesday. This declaration issued in May 2023 stipulated the commitment of the two warring parties to refrain from any military attack that may cause harm to civilians, emphasizing the protection of civilians and respecting international humanitarian and human rights laws. From Abdullah Al Mubarak Air Base, this is Maryam Nadwahi for the News Department.